In other news tonight, Detroit police officers will soon have a new weapon with them on the streets and one that is expected to save lives. And these are so-called electronic control weapons, better known as tasers. Jason Colthorpe live at Detroit Police Headquarters, and that's where a Board of Police Commissioners meeting just wrapped up. Jason? Uh, you know, they tried this, Detroit Police did, a while back, a few years ago, and they let City Council and the Board of Commissioners test out some taser-like weapons, and it didn't go well. There was some injury, so they scrapped it. But that was before James Craig became police chief. Today, he reintroduced it in the Board of Commissioners. Their sentiment, basically, this is way overdue. Uh, we're quite simply behind the times. Behind the times, considering research shows 18,000 other agencies use tasers, while Detroit police do not. It is our hope that every sworn personnel in operations has a taser, including our detective personnel. To convince the Board of Police Commissioners, DPD showed the effect tasers had in Cincinnati. After six years there of having electronic weapons, a 35% drop in the use of force by officers and a 47% decline in even having to use the taser. Above all, though, police say it's about protecting everyone involved. See the issues that are arising due to the fact that you have to still engage this person in close quarters, physically engage the suspect. The board showed overwhelming support unanimously passing a motion to amend the DPD code to allow the use of electronic weapons. So uh, this does not need city council approval, so this is a done deal. What happens next is they send this out for a bid, purchase these weapons, and then get the out officers outfitted with them. Reporting live at Detroit Police Headquarters, Jason Colthorpe, Local 4. And I know it just happened then, Jason, but do they know how long that'll take? Well, they'll, once they get all the uh, procedural stuff done, uh, officers will undergo eight hours of training, everyone who will carry this, and they expect to have these guys deployed with these weapons in the next few months. All right, we'll keep following. All right, Jason.